Now, just when you thought it was safe to return to the water, here's Richard and Johnny. And they're about to find out what it's like to be under an awful lot of pressure. Tipping water over someone's head might give them a bit of a shock if they're not expecting it, but it's not going to move them. Deliver a little more water with a little more force, though, and you can be pretty sure they'll notice. <laughs> But if you put a lot of water under a lot of pressure, it can be very, very powerful indeed. And we're going to show you, with the help of these guys from the Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service, two hoses and this car. You ready, guys? The engine and brakes are off. Go on, boys, throw it up. And the gear is in neutral. The water is blasting out at a pressure of 12 bar. That's 12 times atmospheric pressure. And the molecules of water are travelling at such velocity they create enough force to move the car. <laughs> That's typical. We're halfway through filming and these guys have got shit and they're off. While they're off putting out fires, it gives us a chance to explain another use of water under pressure to clean. It's used by councils to remove fat from the walls of sewers. In central London, most of this comes from hundreds of fast food outlets. It gets flushed down sinks and washed down drains, but because fat doesn't mix with water, as the water drains away, this stuff builds up on the walls, eventually causing huge blockages. One of the best ways to get rid of it is using high-powered water jets. But high-pressure water doesn't just stop at cleaning stuff. Concentrate your nozzle and create enough pressure, and you can even use water to cut through steel or rock. And this is the machine that does it. And it's simply fed by main water at the back. That goes into that incredibly powerful intensifier pump, and the water is fed right through to this nozzle, the cutting point. Inside there is a sapphire with a 0.2 millimetre aperture. And that's also creating a vacuum to draw in the abrasive sand that's also required. And the speed it's coming out is 1,000 metres per second. That's about the speed of a flying bullet. So if you could pick that machine up and aim it at a concrete wall, you could blast a hole in it from four metres. Wow. 